video here got a few things at my Walmart uh, these are the same price they were two weeks ago they didn't go down but I just wanted to grab some things just to have some I don't I have I don't I have nothing to part out really I got these three sets I got from Joe at Brick World that I might part out I might not I don't know yet but that's all, all I really have for part out so got six of these um, 1350 these are 1350 I think this is a little less than that. I don't remember 100%. These were $34.50. I got these. I almost got them last time for that price. Because that's a good, good deal to even keep those around. The box got dinged on that one. Actually, both of them. Then I got an eBay order in. I'm, now I feel like I'm behind on sorting my eBay stuff. Because I got this one order here. Everything else has been sorted away. We'll get it done. Um, we got four sets here. Is it four or five? <laughs> Just four sets. Then I got um, some stuff for the expansion too. So it looks like what was eleven fifty? Oh, I guess the rooms were eleven fifty. Right, four one seven oh five. Oh, those were eleven fifty. And those are thirteen fifty. Um, seven one five. I guess that was thirteen fifty two. It's a four plus. I don't know. Almost left it, but what do we get here? These are in here. I'm just. I I should have bought a just a single side one. So I think we're gonna fit one and then a normal size three drawer and then another one of those on that side. I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, I do have this section I could use too. I might just put um, just uh, acro mills here. So I think I'll have room once I get this there. Um, at least I can start the acro mills up higher. Get three of them at least. Uh, but I think this is what it's kind of going to look like. I have to figure out the sizes for these. I should have bought the small. No, I think I should all stick with all the big ones because I like the big ones better than the small ones. You get more room. And I may very well um, use plastic bags in there. I definitely put parts in plastic bags in these. They're taped shut. But. So, yeah, that's the start of it. So then acro mills will go, go here from up top. Uh, once I don't know if I'm going to have this too high. I don't want anything that's going to like fall over. I guess once the weight gets in there, it's not too crazy, but that's the start. Four use sets at one time looks like this. This is goes by, I sort it by the color, so the black color comes first. It's alphabetical for the color, so go through the black and whatever's next in there. So we start the file at 1149 parts. 454 lots. I deleted a few already. And 221. I did add all the minifigures to all the sets. Because I had them all. Oh, except the, the Jurassic World. So I did the Killer Croc, the Bricklink, these guys, all, this, all the figures to that set. So let's see what we end up with. Decided on this. Uh, four of these will fit across the top. If I do a small one next to this and another large one there, that, that should be where the position should be, where they'll all be. And I might double those up, make those too high, and then make these a few high, whatever I can get up, not to the ceiling there. Um, so it's like a temporary thing. Don't, I'm not going to use any wood. I'm just going to somehow like adhere, adhere it the back to the wall maybe in a few spots without the stuff up high. We'll see. Or I could just run like one two by four there and somehow screw through the back of some of these plastic bins just to scare the ones up top but not crazy once you get weight in there they won't move too much as long as you're just not going crazy when you're opening so I, think I know what I need yeah Hazel agrees went to that well that was full now it's all right here a lot of it's put away consolidated as well ended up with 
$187 worth, 897 parts. Back of accessories that were sitting here. Um, I gotta put all this away, it's a ton. This is stuff that I just took out to, to upload right away. I'll just, I might get to that today, maybe not, but we might go over in my, my holding area, those blue trays there. Uh, it's junk, you know, regular pieces. I kind of at the end, like, about 30% of this, I didn't really go through much of it. There's still some more pieces in here, but for now, to get this, because I keep saying that my UV backlog is non existent, this is considered part of it, so I'm going to put all this away. It's just like 10.45 on a Friday, we're going to go to the beach yeah, after lunch, so got a few more hours of work. We have later lunches. So, put this put away, I just start grabbing like the same things. I have bodywear. More bodywear. I do have a spot for tanks, but I um, I just end up throwing them in there if I'm going fast, and then I'll get them out later when I need them. Or when it gets full, then I sort them away and keep the ones I need. Things like that. I'll put away just one, under one hour there. And, uh, my daughter brought me some fried zucchini. She said she made it herself. So I'll eat that. And I just put this, quickly put this back here, and I'm just, this is what I feel like doing. I don't, I'm gonna do these hands first. I gotta count these up. I'm gonna hand count them. Cause it's, it's hard. Um, with the ton, kind of scale with different things, it's probably more accurate. You can always just take off like 5% to be sure, but and I have a ton more, so maybe I should just count them up on the cutting scale and I can just count, hand count them when they sell. Um, so I got I found a few more things that I was just sorting away that I'm going to put for sale. These are good. Um, and then the stuff I got out just before that. Um, so yeah, those two bags are gone. And then... Yeah, from there I might photograph eBay and then do it tomorrow morning. I don't have too much to do here. Uh, it looks like a mess, but there's not very many. Actually, I, I think I was just going to push it off till next week because I do have a bunch of Brooklyn orders I'll be getting over the next two or three days, mailing days. So probably push it off till Tuesday after I get Monday's mail. Um, let's get these for sale. I just did 97 lots in literally like 35 minutes. It was fast. So get this priced up, put for sale, and we're going to do some cleaning up. It's already going to be done for the days. It's almost 1230 so uh, $166 of the stuff you pull out of that bag. <laughs> That's crazy. Just pulled it right out of the bag. I literally paid less than that for like 20 or 30 pounds of stuff. And this was like the third upload of it. A lot of it was bulked out just for my fill bag, so, awesome. It's Saturday morning, what time is it? 5.23, just changed. Somebody offered me to cha uh, trade me a shadow, uh, is it just a shadow trooper? Yeah, for this guy, not gonna do it. This guy's worth a lot more. It, this is actually, well, it was new at one point, I wish I, kinda wish I would've kept it in the case, cause it's worth like 200 bucks now, new. Anyway, we sold them, that one. This, this for some reason said no eBay logos or invoice or paperwork, so uh, I'll just put that in there because I like to listen. And uh, this is a really good Iron Man. It has some uh, keel cracks, but it's all listed that way. That's it. Oh, there's some good uh, stuff in here too. It's like an 80, almost $90 order stuff, just Ninja Hako stuff. There we go. At, here we go. Nine Brooklyn orders for Brickhall. 13 total orders. Now, this number is a little skewed that I'm going to show you. I guess it's not skewed, but we are already, it says 212 lots. We are already in the profit zone for those IG88s because of this one of these orders here. <laughs> I sold 25% of them. So, well, I sold 375 of them so far out of 1,000. 
So, it's... I'm happy to, that I bought them, and I'm happy that I'm pricing them at the price that I can make money on pretty fast, so that is great. Um, that's how it's done. I just didn't really want to buy them, but here we are. Uh, less than a week, so six days since I bought them, and we're already already made a profit, so that's, that's great. So let's get going. I got a note on... Uh, Number seven. Love, uh, thank you. Love watching the videos. While well, I add inventory to my store, hopefully we can do a trade with the clocks. Any tips for doing parts? Oh, I just talked about this. Say trading that clock. Um, the first thought was not to trade it, so I'm probably, probably not. I'm not leaning toward trading it. Um, once I looked at and tried to find another one of those, yeah, they're not. There's not very many at all. So it'd be very hard to get it again. Any tips of doing part outs? I just look at previous vlogs 1 through 25. I did a lot of stuff with those. Um, kind of more like later into after 25 or around 25 ish. And I have some how to videos as well on the channel. So here's the order uh, 11 items, 10 lots. Got an Ernesto. Some little parts in there. Note. Keep up all the awesome work and thanks for the great parts and minifigs. As always, the collector. Awesome, thank you. As well, thanks for the last two orders. Great stuff going out the door. Oh yeah. There it is, 250. My G88s. Order number 11 for this build. On a mail yesterday. One Bricklink order, another Bricklink order. And then, what I, get? I got this from Whatnot actually. They wanted to win on this, and then they had these in the buy it now. Make some more purple spacemen. That's nothing. Actually, this is the same. These are only, this is like a $10 buy it now for these four because they were missing one thing. Skirts, and I think I actually have a hat for him. Got old duck. Tails upside down. Um, yeah, there's one, there's a head with it on there. Thought I had another one though. If I do, is that it? Yeah, I do. So we got a complete figure, and I'll check these out, see if it's worth getting the skirts. Um, what is this? This is another order here, and then eBay. So I got this for thirty dollars, I think, plus ten shipping. So they're all mixed matched, but there's a lot of mini dolls in there. And I was looking at the pictures; it seemed like they're they're mostly all there. He's got a Matt Mac mix it, match them back up. So, some value. All right, each of these are from the same seller, $60. I guess this is number one, number three. And there were some complete superheroes, complete uh, Star Wars, to mix and match stuff as well. A villager, Minecraft, so not bad. I think there is one of the, this. I think this is the good Doctor Strange. I don't know. I don't recognize that torso so much, but it's like a $15 one. But I can't be sure. Um, taser face in there. I just have to get his hair. Good stuff. <laughs> and then this I got for $85. Uh, 33 minifigs. Um, I got it because it has the classic king in there. Which is nice. There's a Raphael. Barracuda Guardian in great shape. Some rock monsters. Genie from Aladdin has the wrong color hands. Um, oh, this a Alien Commander, which is good. And a Mickey with tu Tuxedo. It says that's $24. Does this come in the castle? The Disney castle? I think it might. That'd be cool. Um, I didn't realize that wasn't even in there, honestly. 
And the best one, basic woman with gold necklace. Everyone needs one of those. Uh, Ursula. And yeah, so I, I think that's a good buy for 85, I guess. 30, I mean, 33 minifigs, you're getting them less than $3 each, and they're all pretty much themed good things. I mean, present of business, two bucks. Yeah. Lawn Gnome's good. That guy's caught pretty common. So, nice. Alright, looking for Ursula. I don't see it. I might already have her for sale, but I didn't think I did. But anyway, I came over and I thought I didn't I know I didn't have Donald Duck and Jeannie for sale, so get those two up the rest away. Mark it down the calendar, June 24th, 2023 at 9.30 a.m. We are uh, going to our wanted list. We're just not going to want anything anymore. We just, we've been consumerizing too much. That's a word to, to use. <sighs> okay, so just today. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Eight orders this morning just to rebuild all these. <laughs> it's crazy. I was targeting specific things a lot, but. Uh, yeah. Take a break from that. See, see what July can bring. I think we're gonna this will outlast July because I don't need anything for Bay Beach. I have I placed one order of more Disney and some poly bags that should be here in a few days, and I still have I do have quite a bit of <laughs> eBay lots coming, so I should focus on that. I mean I don't need anything. Just gotta get stronger, get more more organized. I want to get to a point where I ship out orders and I literally have to got like try to find something to do um, which I'm close but not that not that close um, this I don't consider anything that I have to do anything to this at some point I'm gonna go through and list everything for sale that's in here basically don't know when that'll be I, it definitely would be most likely definitely is that work next year sometime uh, unless I get bored and obviously, you know, I had to catch up on all these. I want to get all these listed here. These are just extra stock that I'm holding for conventions, basically. Or if it sells on eBay, I have them ready to go. Um, yeah. Got everything back in place from the conventions here. And adding stuff to this. Of the stuff I just opened. Um, like that stuff. Um, yeah. The only thing I'm kind of short on it, kind of, is Lego, is Lego sets, I would say. Kind of, but not really. Um, I got these. These are these are on the queue to part out. I have a targeted set I'm going to get at Walmart. Um, but I won't need it for like two weeks, and they have them. But they're not going to sell or anything. So the price won't go up. It could go down. I have a sale on it. I'll, I'll keep checking it. But um, see, I have enough poly bags for convention. <laughs> For quite a while, that thing is jam packed, and there's some Lego sets in there too, like brick heads. So, gotta keep that in mind. Keep on pushing forward. I'm just gonna clean up uh, some of this for the next half an hour. Maybe get some of this put away, or prepped for uploading some of it, and call it a day. Chicken footage. It's been Saturday. Working on the garden. There's another one. I'll show you the little ones. My wife was saying how terrible our garden looked. <clears throat> like, well, we haven't spent any time on it since we planted anything. So we needed, it was getting weedy. Cleared most of it up. Our tomato plants just are not growing very fast, but cucumbers are growing. The beets are coming along. It's my favorite thing to plant is beets. I had to plant them a second time. And yeah, it looks like these chickens are coming by and eating them. It happens. I planted extra, so just in case. Zucchini, pumpkins. This is like spinach, but we're not going to get it. Peas. <clears throat> there they go. 
and the blackberries, man. These are going to be amazing again. Better than last year. There are hundreds and hundreds of them. There's raspberries right up against it. There's a lot of raspberries coming too. They didn't seem to do very well last year, but there's a lot more now. Um, that I remember from last year. So we'll see how many of those we can get. These are so delicious. I don't know their names yet. I know, I remember one is named Check. I think one's name is Raptor. See, this one is so much smaller than all the other ones. We got them at the same time. Yeah, I think it's going to be a Bantam. Um, it should be the Highline Leghorn, just white like it is. They all have their colors. There's two Smoky Pearl and two Highline Leghorn. They're leaving. You can tell that's the Highline Leghorn skinnier, Smoky Pearl bigger. Those two are smoky bro. Uh, 6 20 a.m. I'm about to fill this thing. 35 eBay packages. There's a couple that were like five to ten items, so it's actually really good. I'll compare it here. If it was better than Bricklink, wow, I think it was about the same. Uh, so 18 orders on Bricklink, 7 on Brickell. I did sell another 125 minifigures <laughs> in one order, so you can be skewed to, to, to think that. Um, where? Oh, here it is. One lot. So, one lot, 125. So now we have sold 500 IG88s. And we parted out 250, so I have a bag of 250 left that's not for sale yet. Which I'll work on this week. Figure, it, figure that out. So it's a seven on Brickell, 25 total orders, 1,800 items, 366 lots. So eBay was about the same. So it's 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 a good weekend. Definitely a good weekend. I had an aggressive sale on eBay though, um, so that does does help. So I got to get this ready for shipment here. It's all ready. Just got to get it here, set by the door, and start working on the other one. All right, it is. So after 10, I got baby duty until about 10.45. So, <coughs> yep, she agrees. I got uh, all, this, all the mail done, at least. She wouldn't nap for me, but it'd be all right. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I just got my video edited. I was supposed to do last Friday, but I did released a video on Friday, so it was okay. I didn't need to do it, so I'm going to release this on Tuesday, up tomorrow. So got some eBay stuff i got to get sorted and figure out what to do with. Excited, yeah. Um, but after that, what's on my list? Monday, I don't have anything on my list. Monday, Tuesday, I have. I'm gonna write a feedback letter. The person left me neutral feedback. It won't respond. They're new to Bricklink, and yeah, I'm just gonna send it in the mail because they're not responding on email or Bricklink. Um, just a last ditch effort to be like, what are you doing? Can you just check this? <laughs> I think you made a mistake because they left neutral feedback. Says fast shipping. The last three buyers have bought. Oh, okay. Let's uh, stop the screaming. Get back to work. So we built this at Brick World in the Great Ball Contraption class, and uh, they're having fun with it. So we got an extra motor. We can build another one. We just don't know what we're gonna do. Woo! There it goes. They're all gonna make it. Yeah, it works. Got all this mystery bags over here dumped out. Stuff to upload. Stuff I'm not sure. Oh, I put the mini doll stuff in here because when I get to some of this in here, I might there's probably completes in there that I might want to do. So I took out all the ones that I try to I want to try to complete. Oh, that's wrong here. Um, or maybe maybe not. I don't know. And we'll go from there. So and then I have this going. Then I have convention stuff. I just built his gear for yellow jacket. Starting to just get stuff ready for that. And most of the stuff will get put away. Probably not. Um, where it goes, there's Strain of Cryptor. Um, I'm just slowly working through this to get either put away, convention, or to list. And I'm still deciding if I want to. That's a duplicate. Uh, that's a duplicate. If I want to just do like a lot of this, that's a duplicate. One, two, three, four, five, seven of them on eBay like that. 
I think I'm going to do that. Let's sell them all together. I've not, I've not done that for years. I used to do it a little more when I had a bunch, actually. I probably have a bunch. It's just when you get them all in front of you, you're just like, let's do that. Because my drawer is at the point of needing assistance. I have four drawers dedicated to these guys, actually. And I should probably only have two. I mean, that's just a problem I have. That it's got to take, you know, an hour and work through them. I probably wouldn't take it that long. Um, and complete them and get them moving on. So, yeah. Work, work, work. You guys are asking why or how do I know what to put where? To convention, to eBay, to BrickLink? It's just, uh, it's everyone has different priorities and what they should do with things. That's a really good seller. I need a helmet though. Um, so in my mind, I pretty much know what I do and don't have on eBay. So I did not have Agent 13, Aisha is her name, I guess, and Taserface. Um, so those, I went and found the cards in my in my book that I have these cards made up. They're in there. Um, I Actually, I searched these two on eBay real quick to make sure I knew I didn't have him. But, um, and like this, like, doesn't make sense for me to put it on BrickLink because I love to sell this on eBay, which it barely ever sells anymore. I guess I should check my listing and see if it's just too high of a price, maybe? Um, so Lloyd Golden, I'm just going to put, because I don't really know how to look them up. I may not even have them for sale on here, which would be weird. Uh, sometimes listings get somehow deleted and they're just sitting in here for sale and they never and I never know it for a year or two so that, that definitely could be the case so I'm not, now I'm gonna try to find them and here he is and just look him up by his set number because <laughs> it's something I've been wanting to do for a couple years like go through and audit my stuff because I know there's a lot in there that's not for sale yeah, I, have, I do not even have this for sale. Crazy. So, he's going to my photo bin. Anyway, so ultimately, I'm not really doing much work. I just added two swords, and I'm going to put them in convention. It's kind of, my pro number one priority is usually eBay, which I know what to put on there. Um, two and three are just convention, Brooklyn. Depends on what's coming up sooner or later. Convention does take number one sometimes for a few weeks um, but at this point it's not I'm just kind of I'm still just trying to stockpiling for Bay Beach and it's actually in less than three weeks and then Brick World Grand Rapids in September so um, yeah you just gotta know your own system and what you're selling it on it'd be easy if I just did BrickLink it'd be super easy life would be simple just, it'd be just like having it as a regular standard job, probably. But that's not what I like. I like the, I like the not having the uh, thought of burning out doing the same thing over and over and over and over. Um, I sold two of these guys at Brickworld, so at like two, two of the same brothers or something. They both wanted it, so definitely going back there. Um, so yeah, it's just one of those situations. You just got to know what you're doing. Not many people do what I do. I don't think eBay, Brooklink, and Lego conventions, and I'm starting. I'm I am ramping up for whatnot again. I think I'm gonna ramp it up, and whether I do it or not is not certain. It's just if I have a lot of stock where I can do it, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So I think I need. I think I might need something um, for that one. So yeah, just enough me jabbering, going on and on. Vulcan Knight. No, I don't need him. But it, this guy was over here, though. What do I need? I just need his head. So I can complete that one. Sure. If I want, where I want to put something, um, I put it in the Bricklink file because then I'll look it up and just to decide, looking at the price, determine if I want to put it there or somewhere else. Um, it's kind of go like that. Two eBay lots in this, this stuff and this stuff. And then this came in this. Big amount of stuff in that bag, so through it. It's guy of Lloyd's in love. There you go. 313. He's he's right, I had to check the time. 
on Monday still, so I still have to go to the post office, so I figured there's enough, this easy, I easily can pull 67 lots and get these shipped out today before I go, so usually with that's like an hour of quitting time, and I'm like, what do I do next? So I just got all the eBay stuff done. I usually just start pulling orders lately, because my backlog is just not there. I mean, there's stuff to do, but... I don't want to get deep into uploading stuff. I have a bunch of stuff to upload tomorrow, so I can get to that earlier. Now they get these five orders out of the way. I'll probably have a few more in the morning, I'm hoping. But I'll get these ones done. I have a five. Going out to that store in Eastern Oregon, the Lego store. There's an airport instruction, the old city airport in there. It's old 695. Bo Some other parts are complete. Some figures. And for complete figures, I just put for sale last week. Put them for sale, they sell. Typically I won't put stuff like this, but I just have so many. I just put a couple. There you go. Move the money back this way so I can send it back out that way, out there to get more stuff like that for cheaper. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, get the labels printed off the post office. Right, going on to Tuesday morning, got some Brooklyn orders to go through after I've done, done shipping. Eight eBay orders, all our singles have one at four figures in it. So here we go. I already shipped out, actually, I did eight orders. There was three more that came in as soon as, as, soon as I was done packing last night to go to the post office. They were all one lot from a drop shipper. So they bought all my Darth Maul foil bags. One, one of them, and then some, there was an order for seven of them, and another for a single. So of course they didn't want any invoice in there, so I put my business card in each one for this, you know, it's a nice little card. Just say thank you. Seven total orders now, 464 items, 147 lots, 223. So with all those orders yesterday, I definitely hit the $500 like high goal I'd hope to get it every day. So that is nice. 44 lots, 36 are the two big ones, actually 36 is another one. But none of them are going to take long because the total item count is not that much. Like this is five items per lot, or six actually. This one's only like less than three. So the sixth one is a little bit more time consuming. It's 58 bucks, so I like that. Uh, but yeah, great. Last 24 hours of sales for sure. Just before 7 a.m. now, and we are on to listing on eBay. So not too much. Son got these photographed last night for me. So, yeah, there's not too much stuff. There's less than 100 photos, so about 97, I think it said. This is a really good rare figure here. Professor Webb, Locust, Sectoids. Very rare. Um, so, yeah, get this up, get this done, and then move on to those orders. And then I just wrote a feedback letter to the person left neutral feedback that said fast shipping. Hopefully they get it. They haven't responded to any email or quick messages, so put a list on eBay and then I have to launch videos. Actually, I'm going to launch the video now because I should have launched it yesterday. This is my 600th video. Wow, so it started in November of 2018, so almost five full years. 600 videos, almost. That's over 100 videos a year. That seems like a lot. All right, eBay's done. I had a competitor of mine on eBay ask me because they're going to Bricklink, back to Bricklink. No competitor. I guess I shouldn't call it a competitor. It sounds like a harsh name, but uh, business in the same business shouldn't send their line of work. Whatever you call it. Anyway, my words are always there. Uh, I showed them last three months. Basically, Bricklink was just like four hundred dollars less than eBay sales, like the gross amount, not the net profits or anything like that but um but i'm like i spend way more time on bricklink <laughs> than i do on ebay so i was just thinking about how much time do i spend on ebay mondays i typically spend um between one and three hours depends on how many i sell over the weekend re re rebuilding things um and i guess i do spend time on ebay when i get bricklink orders like this next thing is pretty much spending mostly time on ebay because i have to complete the figures and put them for sale or get them ready for photos. Um, but most days, if I don't have Brickling orders, I spend less than an hour on eBay. 
uh, throughout the week. And this is usually one day a week. Last week I didn't do photographs. So I do photographs and then my son did them for me and then I list. So this I spent a solid 90 minutes getting these listed. There wasn't that many listings. So not much time that I actually spend on a, when I'm thinking about it. You know, picking orders and packing orders for eBay is not that long either. Monday mornings are typically just about an hour, hour and a half sometimes, sometimes less than an hour. So, but most days are like 15, 20 minutes, maybe 30 if it's like 20 packages in a day or something. That's rare for the weekdays, but yeah. Thank you.